Okay, this is going to be a touch switch mod for a puck style setup, which is going to run off of four AA batteries, which the rechargeable ones I'm using give me 1.2 instead of 1.5. So, series out, that gives me 4.8 volts. And with the MOSFET that I have right now, it pulls one volt to open the gate. And that leaves me just where I want to be at 3.7 for this. I don't want to I don't want a 5 volt mod. I've already got one. Which is over there, which is a bottom fed. And uh this is very, very simple. Once you, if as long as you have the right part, it's super simple. Um I already tested it, it works perfectly. It's based off a of radius design, and uh, it works flawless. I got no complaints. Super simple. Once I figured it all out, this is an IRL 3103 MOSFET chip, and it's mounted to a heat sink that I cut the fins down on, and just hot glued a little hot glue on either side to hold it in place. Take a little bit of heat off of that uh, off of the drain. Now I just got a couple of screws. This is only a basic setup. A um, couple of screws soldered to some wires. Atomizer has got new wire connections on it. It's JB welded in place. Real simple. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show every single step from start to finish so that you can build one of these touch switch mods because I'm just aggravated. I read there's 10,000 things on there. Everybody's got the schematics right. From what I can tell, it's just, uh, you know, it's a little hard to understand sometimes when you, you're going through it, you want to build it, you're looking at everybody's diagrams, but there's no videos out there that show you step-by-step step how to build it. So here's the first crack for me at making one where it's going to help. And I already tested it right there on that big mess. That actually works, but we're not going to do that. We're going to do it nice and neat right in here. Alright, let's talk about this MOSFET chip for a second. This particular one, and not all transistors are the same pinout. This one on the left is your gate. The one in the middle is the drain, and the one on the right is the source. The source goes back to your battery. That's your negative output. It goes straight back to the battery. The drain is connected from... It doesn't really matter because an atomizer is not polarity sensitive. You can outside can be positive, or the inner post can be positive. It really doesn't matter. What we're going to do is we're going to come positive from the battery into this box. We're going to parallel it straight to the atomizer and to one of these posts. The other post is going to have a a 1k resistor going from the post. I'm going to cut this short and tap it onto this wire. That's going to go straight to the gate. When you touch the two screws, a small amount of voltage, one volt, should pass through your finger and hit that gate opening the switch, which is going to allow juice to flow from the battery to the atomizer, out of the atomizer, into the drain, center pin, through the switch, closed position, out of the source, back to the battery on the negative. What we're also going to do is we're going to take a a 2.2 mega ohm resistor. I'm going to wrap this gate pin right here with one end of it, and we're going to feed it over the top or underneath the bottom, however you want to do it. Get it over to the source pin, and you're going to solder that on there. That keeps it. That makes the switch closed when your fingers are not. It makes the switch open, I should say. That way there's no current passing through when your fingers aren't making the bond right there. And uh, I'm going to set it up right now and we'll do it. Alright, first step's done. 2.2 mega ohm resistor wired across the gate to the source. Is it neat? Not really. Do I care? No. Most people use a breadboard. I will too, but not today because I don't have the patience to wait till tomorrow and I want this thing to work but I will also get breadboard and uh, or PCB whatever you want to call it and 
printed circuit board. We'll do it like that too. But for now, 2.2 mega ohm resistor from the gate pin to the source pin. Next step will be a 1K resistor from the gate pin to either one of those contacts for the touch switch. Doesn't matter which one. Okay, so we have a 1 1K ohm resistor between one of the pins and the gate pin and that 2.2 mega ohm between the gate pin and the source pin. Next, I'm going to wire one side of the atomizer straight to the drain, which is the center pin. Okay, now we're going to take the positive from the battery, bring it into the box, we're going to grab the other leg of the atomizer, and we're going to take the one of the feeds to the post that is not feeding this gate. And we're going to solder that up nice, 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 tin those wires nice, and uh, we'll continue. Okay, I like to keep the little on off switch in the front just so you shut it off when you're not using it. And because uh, you don't want, the, who knows what, if it gets wet, you don't want the thing burning out on you. So uh, I'm, I slipped a, the on off switch back in. And all I'm going to do for right now, just to get this thing up and running, is I'm going to take a jumper from the source, which has to go back to the battery. I'm going to take a jumper from the source, and I'm going to solder it right to the spring. Right there. That'll handle all your amperage. No problems whatsoever. Think about it. It comes out of the other box like that, so it's perfectly okay. For now. I mean, I'm going to do this on a breadboard too, but for, safe, for operational sake... This is this wire here is going to get tied in with the negative coming from the battery box. So your negative will come through and be switched right here. So bring a wire from your drain to the spring and you're all done ready to vape. Okay, it's all set and ready to go. Now, I'm going to go over the circuit one more time. Current comes out of the battery. Gets tapped. One leg goes to the atomizer, one leg goes to one of the switches, one of the touch sensors. It comes out of the atomizer, goes straight to the drain on the MOSFET. Out of the drain, it goes back all the way to the to the battery. On the, that's your negative. How does it work? You touch both of these little switches and one volt gets carried across your finger comes out the other side of that comes around through this little one meg uh, excuse me one k resistor to the gate it opens and closes that makes the current flow between the train and the source and the 2.2 .2 mega ohm resistor is so that when you take your finger off of that it discharges any voltage inside here I believe good idea to have a heat sink and, and a heat sink pad behind it and uh, keep the MOSFET cool, it'll last you a long time. Oh, damn, sorry. And uh, on off switch, I like it. Let's try it out. All right, there it is. I got four AA batteries in here, and they're all rated at 2300 milliamps. So, right now, I have 4.8 volts in here because the rechargeable is 1.2 a piece. So when I activate this, it's going to give me 3.7, 3.8 volts of the Addy. This is a low resistance atomizer that I modified for a different mod. That's why it's got holes inside of it. Let's see if it works. Hey, imagine that. Oh, works good too. So simple. Some dude on the forums had it, had this all laid out, and he deleted his videos so nobody could figure it out. Nonsense.